if you can uh, show my presentation. Very thank you very much for the invitation. It's fantastic to see many uh, faces of many friends for many time. To this time, in this uh, moment of pandemic, no one doubts of the role of health health role in the development process. Before the pandemic, we were talking about health on one side or economy on the other side. Now we, we are sure that they cannot be separated. They all contribute to the development, the importance of people having good health. That's why how it relates to the sustainable development goals. You know, in, no, in order to prevent mortality caused by tobacco, it is included as a mean to obtain this goal, which is a goal number 3.A, in order to strengthen the framework convention on tobacco control. We have been uh, supporting countries because we have been proposing the meeting of, of the COPE Conference of Parties, uh, the encounter of the parties, but because of the pandemic, uh, we had to postpone it, postpone it for 2021. In the context of the work, uh, among the parties, we have adopted a global strategy to accelerate the implementation of the framework convention. And we are seeing that if we don't accelerate the, the rhythm of implementation, we are not going to confront and reach the goal of diminishing the impact of tobacco on health and diseases. This strategy responds to uh, goal number three and relates to the framework convention in order to uh, overcome the obstacles. The epidemics, the pandemic of tobacco kills many people, has an impact at the health level in all over the world with, uh, uh, as was uh, Dr. Vasquez was uh, mentioning, uh, the companies, the tobacco companies put their profits be before any uh, issues and concern of people's health. We've been suffering uh, the interference of tobacco companies. And uh, so we are implementing uh, and proposing tools to uh, limit the interference of those tobacco industry on health policies. And, and uh, the parties have, uh, have many tools to implement the framework convention, but uh, still the interference of tobacco companies is a major obstacle. The article 5.3 of the FCTC ask the parties to protect their health policies and the control of tobacco and uh, limit the interference of tobacco industry. It gives uh, guidelines to uh, countries to what uh, they should be uh, pushing forward in order to uh, implement uh, consensual policies that have been uh, discussed uh, under the CFTC and follow a series of recommendations that you can see on the pat on the screen. And, uh, and one I want to uh, emphasize is the necessity to uh, denormalize and regulate the corporate social responsibility strategy, which is a way to market the products and interfere. As for the article 13 of CFTC of WHO, 
uh, they uh, proposed to prohibit the contributions from to tobacco con uh, companies to uh, any entities under the pretext of uh, social responsible causes. And so when the people receive uh, those contributions and when they publicize it, when they do some publicity about it, it's a way of interfering and having an incidence of uh, health policies. How is the world today? The article 5.3 is not necessarily the one is the the one is the most implemented, but when we talk about the the framework, there are different tools in the framework uh, that and that can be used and can be considered as good practices, like the guideline for public officers and public employees in relation to uh, tobacco industry in the health department of. The Australian government is example of good practices. Uh, in Myanmar, Philippines, Thailand, yeah, among others, uh, also have implemented uh, very uh, creative uh, policies. And uh, we have received some uh, complaints about. Uh, in some countries, uh, like in the uh, United Kingdom, of, uh, of countering uh, tobacco industry activities. Uh, we also, in the context of uh, the United Nations, uh, we, there's an interinstitutional uh, task force uh, to prevent and control of ENT. The exec executive secretary uh, is uh, considered specifically uh, of tackling the issues of uh, tobacco. There's a model policy that can be used by many agencies at the United, United Nations level in order to implement concrete actions to uh, control tobacco. There's nothing related to tobacco industry that uh, is aligned with uh, the spirit and uh, policy in general of United Nations. So, so we have worked hard on those pol policies to align with the spirit of the Article 5.3 in order that the parties of the con convention in order to uh, harmonize all those systems of the UN. There's a also another tool like the global compact of the United Nations in order to uh, that the tobacco industry will not be able to be members of that uh, space uh, in 2017. Uh, and, and, and there are many associations that are, that are supporting the tobacco industry like the the Chamber of Commerce at the international level uh, that are uh, confronting uh, and uh, impeaching the development and implementation of many health policies. Uh, the TRICIT is another organization that basically defends uh, the business interests of uh, tobacco industry and, and CEPAL, which uh, uh, works with uh, work with uh, children and uh, the tobacco industry has used this uh, space to uh, promote uh, uh, its products uh, towards uh, that uh, target, uh, targeted public. Here we see s some of the instruments that the secret is offering to the parties. We have a center of knowledge, uh, a knowledge hub, uh, that responds to the Article 5.3, but also coordinates three observatories of monitoring in Brazil, in South Africa, in Sri Lanka. So some are these are some of the documents we have to implement the Article 5.3, and there's also a guideline document 
how we can uh, conduct uh, our activities uh, towards tobacco control. We implement also a strategy, a communication plan to combat the tactics of the tobacco industry uh, and also a tool, uh, uh, education tool, which is online and that you can use and it's already available online. Finally, we have uh, a few other tools that we also have uh, and they will be available on the website. With this, uh, that's all uh, I wanted to share with you. So I want to thank you again for the invitation and thank you.